Hi friends, I'm Dalia. Welcome to simpleindianrecipes.com, your online guide to simple and healthy home style cooking. Today I'll be sharing one of the most popular recipes from India known as paneer butter masala or paneer makhani. The word makhan in Hindi means butter. So as the name of the dish suggests, paneer makhani means paneer cooked in a buttery sauce. Before we get started, let's look at the list of ingredients. We need 1 block of paneer which is approximately 200 grams, 1 big onion, 1 tablespoon each of ginger and garlic chopped, 3 ripe tomatoes, quarter cup of cashew nuts and about 2 to 3 tablespoons of butter. These three are the most important ingredients. Now for the spices we take a pinch of turmeric powder 2 teaspoons of red chili powder 1 teaspoon of coriander powder and a pinch of garam masala powder We also need some kasuri methi or dried fenugreek leaves about quarter cup of fresh cream required salt and some chopped cilantro for garnishing The first step is to make the makhani sauce. For that, we start off by heating a pan with oil or butter. Add roughly chopped onions, ginger, garlic, and tomatoes. Add the cashew nuts and about two tablespoons of water. Sauté everything on medium low heat. We do not want to brown the ingredients. We just want it to become soft. Cover with a lid and cook on low heat for about five minutes. By now, all the ingredients would have become tender. Give it one final mix before switching off. Leave it aside for the next ten minutes for the mixture to cool a little. After that transfer the contents to a mixer jar or a blender. Add little water and grind it to a smooth puree. The makhani sauce is ready. You can use this sauce as such, but if you really want a silky smooth gravy, you need to strain the mixture once. I also add about quarter cup of water to clean the mixy jar and add it to the sauce. Now you can see that the sauce does not have any bits or pieces in it. Heat a small pot and add about 2 tablespoons of butter to it. Add the red chili powder and saute it in the butter for about 10 seconds. Immediately add the prepared makhani sauce. Next we add the spices, turmeric powder, coriander powder, required salt. Mix together and let it cook for about 5 minutes. You can put a lid to prevent spluttering of the gravy all around. At this stage you can add the chopped paneer cubes to the gravy. Add the garam masala powder and the kasuri methi leaves. To release the aroma of the dried fenugreek leaves, you need to crush it between your palms before adding it to the gravy. At the very end add 3 to 4 tablespoons of fresh cream. 
I have used Amul Fresh Cream available in India. In other countries, it is also available as heavy whipping cream or double cream. This cream gives a very good taste and adds that extra creaminess to the curry. You can also substitute with full fat milk. Switch off the heat and now your tasty paneer butter masala is ready to be served. To give the restaurant style presentation, take the paneer butter masala in a serving dish and garnish with some fresh cream on top. You can also add some chopped coriander leaves. Paneer butter masala can be served with any kind of pulao, naan or roti. If you like this video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and share it with your family and friends. Also join us in our other social networks like Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Pinterest, etc. For detailed recipe and step-by-step -step instructions, check out my website simpleindianrecipes.com. See you again with some more interesting recipes. Until then, bye-bye.